You might not understand why I was crying profusely seeing this young man, faces battered by fire, being ringed and the eyes busted and everything. You might not know exactly why I was crying. Can I tell you why I was crying? It's not just because he was burnt and it's not just because he was in the prison. It hurts me so much that he's holding Bible and he's trying even in the cell room to open his eyes and read it. Oh, God, you won't understand. Just, just don't worry. Watch. I'm asking people that are comfortable. Why are you co so comfortable and ignore the suffering in the prison? God. This is indeed one of the toughest prison outreach I've ever had. In all the 240 something prisons I've visited, this one is so painful. Every time I watch this guy, every time I lay my eyes on this video, I start crying all over again. May God help us so we may help these people. May God touch the heart of everyone so we may help these poor people in the prison. Look at what the Bible said about those who are complacent, those who are comfortable and ignore these poor prisoners, innocent prisoners dying in sorrow. In the book of Amos chapter 6 verse 1, he said, Woe to you who are complacent in Zion. And New Living Translation say, What sorrow awaits you who launch in luxury in Jerusalem and you who feel secure in Samaria? You are famous and popular in Israel and people go to you for help. People come to beg you. And it also says in Luke chapter 6 verse 24, But woe to you who are rich. For you have already received your comfort. Why are you not caring for the poor? And he says also in Isaiah chapter 32 verse 9, Stand up, you complacent women. Listen to me. Give ear to my word, you overconfident daughters. Why are you so overconfident in your riches and you forgot these poor people? And Bible couldn't stop. It just continued going. It says in the book of Amos chapter 3 verse 9. It says, Proclaim to the citadels of Ashdod and to the citadels of Egypt. Assemble on the mountains of Samaria. See the great unrest in the city. Look at the great unrest in our prison yards. And the acts of oppression in our midst. Can't we see this act of oppression and this great unrest in our prison yards please? This is also one of the things that I want you to bear in mind that what God says in the Bible we do. He say, look at this, Amos chapter 4 verse 1. He says, hear this word, you cows of Bashan on Mount Samaria, you women who oppress the poor and crush the needy, who say to your husbands, bring us more to drink. Rain awaits us if we don't do the needful. How can we call ourselves Christians and we ignore the work of Christianity? That is loving the poor, the needy, helping those that are wounded, binding their broken hearted, giving them beauty for ashes, opening prison gate for them that are bound. This is the calling. Why can't we do it now? Tomorrow might be too late. Wake up now, please. Let's do the job. <laughs>